Are you in fact a cartel? The UK retail market is the most competitive market. I've worked in Central Europe, I've worked in Asia as some of uh, my competitive set and this is strange today but alongside a table who I compete against on a day by day my teams compete against. We are trying to drive, do our best customer offer to grow our market share. This is quite a, uh, a, a unique uh, um, opportunity or situation that myself and, uh, and my uh, peers find ourselves in today. We're absolutely not. We are driven by growing our business by being uh, for our customers. We have transparency insofar as we can see the prices that our competitive sets sell to their products on a, on a daily basis either through the internet or in the stores. So that's what drives us and that's what motivates us. And, and as um, uh, uh, Mr Potts said earlier, customers are really savvy. They absolutely will, will make decisions to who do they shop to um, based on the pricing. So it's on the, the onus is on us to be the best value. We make, and this is the whole group, four pence in every pound, um, which I don't think is a, a, any example of profiteering. We really, without customers and without their trade, there is no Tesco. Um, and we have doubled down yeah. on our competitiveness. And <laughs> genuinely, as we've said recently in our quarterly update, we are the most competitive we have ever been. Well, our business correspondent Paul Kelso has the latest from East London, where he's been visiting a food wholesaler. We're hearing, Ian, what are familiar arguments and arguments that have been made on this programme before by the big players in the food retail industry. We've got Asda, Morrison, Sainsbury's and Tesco's, of course, in front of the select committee this morning. Notable that only Morrison's has seen fit to send along the chief executive. Dave Potts described it as a privilege to be there. The others are relying on chief financial officers and the like. And they've faced a pretty consistent line of questioning thus far, which is, are you doing enough to protect customers and to uh, avoid making excess profits as they have been characterised and the chair of the committee pointing out that three of those four have made, uh, have made bigger profits in the last year than previously. Pretty familiar arguments from all of them that they are doing what they can to squeeze prices. They describe it as a very, very competitive sector. Tesco point out they are uh, matching, as we know, with uh, Aldi. 700 lines, they say, are matched. Uh, the, 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 the discounters there setting, uh, setting the price, if you like. Morrison's, uh, they put saying, they're as close as they've ever been to Aldi and Lidl in price. They all say they're investing in uh, what they offer customers, and they all say they're facing the same kind of pressures, including on wages, uh, costs and the inflationary pressures we've seen across the board. I'm at Wanis. This is a, an international uh, food wholesaler. They supply many of the supermarkets who are in front of the select committee today with foods from around the world. And talking uh, to the boss here, they, of course, facing those same inflationary pressures since COVID. Interruptions to supply chains. Freight costs have gone up. Fuel costs have gone up. We've seen an increase in the minimum wage. So the suppliers are being squeezed. Their margins here are tighter. Of course, the supermarkets have a huge amount of buying power, so it may be difficult for those increased uh, costs here to be passed on to the supermarkets. The question is, how does that end up when the customer gets to the till? Today, the British Retail Consortium, which represents these supermarkets and others, have said that food inflation is coming down. They actually said shoppers would welcome it across the country, but it's come down food inflation to about 15%. That's not really a great deal to celebrate. Price is still rising just not quite as horrendously fast as they have been in the last few months.